The latest update news for World of Tanks console is available right now and today's video is going to cover everything you need to know for next week along with some information for this weekend as of the recording because ultimately you guys are going to be playing this weekend I expect. So first things first, what are the developments from Wargaming this week and what has changed, what kind of things have come in? Of course if you know about them let me know in the comment section down below and give me your thoughts. Um, the new map is the kind of key content that we have this week which is Hellfire Pass which isn't really a new map it's a map that we had previously which was called Scorpion Pass that they've kind of revamped revitalized um, and brought it back into the game after about a year of literally testing this thing to death so Hopefully this thing is actually decent. I haven't yet actually been able to play it. I think I've played like 30 games or something at this point and still not had the map. Um, so it's like super hard to actually get it. I don't know how common it is, but there we go. Um, we've also then got the new pin up skins, which are um, kind of like pins, basically. I don't even know, like their skins. Uh, we've got the Type 5 Heavy skin and the Cranvang skin. And then, of course, there is the T95E2 Urn Operation, which I have managed to complete and hopefully you have too but it's your last chance you have until next Tuesday to be able to pick up this thing for free which was basically just completing a set of points and then once you got them uh, you get some extra additional rewards but Nonetheless, what else do we have? Well, we've got map rotation changes that came this Tuesday where reset map rotation to least recently used map rotation for battles level 5 plus. So there's more randomized battles. Uh, it seems like they're going back to more of a kind of... <laughs> um, uh, the system that they had previously on World of Tanks, I don't know, but... You know, it's the maps that you're going to be playing are just going to be more random for those of you uh, wondering why you're getting so much variation. Um, but there we go. Then we've also had the Thunder Bucket contract, which is OK. I mean, nothing too special really here. For those of you that are interested in the Thunder Bucket, though, I have done a full kind of mercenary tank review. But this one is a low tier one, so it's not captured in that. But for those of you interested in mercenary tanks, check out yesterday's video, which showcases all of the mercenary tanks that are kind of good, uh, the bad, the ugly, everything about them uh, in 2022. But nonetheless, back on uh, to the Thunder Bucket. This one is kind of like a fast firing, like low tier vehicle. You know how it is, it's it's a mercenary tank and usually when they were first released were pretty broken. I don't know how they're faring at the moment. But nonetheless, uh, we've got the kind of key weekend event which is on right now and that is Labor Day. And this is of course um, celebrating the kind of holiday weekend in US and Canada. Um, so we're seeing basically um, some improvements to um, a few operations that they're releasing which are the Honor the Workers, uh, effectively you can get yourself a little medal after the first completion and you can also then get some emblem vouchers for various different like labor inspired um kind of uh, emblems but yeah ultimately very little here uh, but the key thing for those of you who are interested is the times three xp event that's going on this weekend and you will be able to get um three times the xp for just the first win it is not a kind of global event that happens and repeatable it's just um it is a really great time to be playing all of the tanks that you own as opposed to uh just playing one singular tank and just spamming out that tank until uh, you've kind of done what you need to do but I would 100% recommend jumping in one tank, then jump over to the next tank, then jump over to the next tank and just get your uh, times three XP because if you do that on like 50 vehicles, for the first 50 vehicle uh, vehicles you play, you're going to be getting three times XP. So effectively saving yourself, um, well, a third of the time, well, you're playing a third of the time that you would have needed to, to be able to get the XP that you need. Um, so it's really, really important that you guys do this if you are interested in being very efficient in World of Tanks. Obviously, some of you are just casuals who enjoy just literally jumping on and playing the tanks you enjoy but uh, which i would highly recommend um discount on vehicle and commander skins uh, so you can pick up 15 percent on all vehicle skins or a discount of 15 percent you know whatever uh 15 on all commander skins as well like yeah whatever um or we're gonna be just selling those and then of course we have the upcoming event and this is probably more of the interesting section of the video because we're covering what's happening next weekend and we have the world war ii 
tier 8 premium that's coming into the game which is the uh, NM116 Panzer Jaeger and for those of you that have uh, kind of rec- can recall the previous NM116 yes it is just basically a reskinned version of a tank that's in Cold War and that is literally what this tank is you can see it right here um, which is the tank so it looks pretty cool. It's really good in Cold War. Really, really good as well. It's like a tank destroyer that is super quick. And um, yeah, it's just really, really good. Hopefully it translates into World War II. I'm looking forward to playing this, giving it a full rundown. And of course, we'll do a full video on the NM116 when it does get released on Tuesday. So not only that, one thing that I'm really excited about is the premium bonus that Wargaming will be doing next week. And this includes the BMP3, which isn't meh, I'm not interested in that, the IS-4. And this is a tank that I have been wanting to get my hands on for the longest time. I've seen multiple videos on the IS-4, both on console and on PC, that I really want to get um, in the game. I've played it a few times, um, but nothing really to fully give it a, uh, a good review. So I'm I'm looking forward to jumping in this and getting myself uh, through all of the tech tree line just before it because like you I still have tank lines to grind um I think I've still got like what like 10 or 15 tanks I need to get a tier 10 but there we go. Uh, and then the T124, which is just the better version of the T123. And yes, I will be doing a video coming shortly on the worst tank at tier 10 in the game, as you can make from what I've just said. Um, and therefore, we have the IS-4, which is the key thing for next week, at least for me. Of course, let me know your thoughts on all of these vehicles and, of course, the BMP if you play Cold War because, ultimately, I think it's fairly decent from what I've heard. Um, so, yeah, maybe I will work my way towards that if I've got some spare time. Uh, we've also then got the Urn Challenge, and this is for a tank that everyone probably has by now and that is the Rheinmetall Scorpion so this is the uh, kind of million pound tank that um, was kind of coined by Quickie Baby and it is uh, effectively the tier 8 tank destroyer from the German line it has 490 alpha super accurate fast has a little bit of armor on the hull armor um, and it is just a monster it's probably not as good as it was when it first got released in World of Tanks but there we go um, pretty much nothing is after like four years but this one is still very competitive and a brilliant tank at that so yeah we'll do a full review of this when it does actually get released in the urn challenge so you guys can see what it's all about and whether you want to actually grind towards it we've then got the urn challenge for hot honoring heroes um which there's not much information on though we'll do like a full review of this when it does get released uh, and you guys can see that we've then got september the 6th to september the 12th which is uh, the reward john garvey commander so you can get this for free wow um and then we also get the deadbolt contract release as well so you'll be able to pick up that um for just completing the operations effectively so i'd highly recommend you do that and then we have uh, the special shout outs to various different things. Um, we have basically got a uh, competitive Discord community. Seven different tournament organizers came together. They've made a, a Discord server. You can do that if you want to, if you're interested in competitive scene. Uh, and there'll also be prizes for the tournaments uh, will be provided by Wargaming. Um, and uh, there's also five new community contributors. So there's General Stahl who's German, uh, Mr. Trias, uh, who's French, Giverus X, who's English slash Lithuanian, Just a Cone, <laughs> who's English, and Not B. Karke, who's also Russian. So, yeah, hopefully I haven't butchered all of your names. Uh, welcome to the community contributor um, kind of platform. I don't even know. <laughs> you know how it is. Anyway, next Reforged is September the 13th. We had a month-long break, but we're back working working on balance changes so i don't know what maps we'll see of course let me know your thoughts on what tanks should actually be changed in the game as part of the reforged event um i definitely think the e3 needs some some changes because uh, it's just terrible it's just boring to play to be honest um but you'll find out all about that in the video coming soon 
We've got the BAMS map section, so maps to showcase for today, Malinovka and Desfall, heat map and questions, uh, so you could check out the Twitch stream if you want to, to see all of that information um, on Wargaming's Twitch, but then moving quickly on, we have, of course, uh, got some questions that were answered by Wargaming, these are always funny to see what they uh, what they come out with, but will what console come to cloud gaming? We've reached out to Microsoft, but no news as of yet, so I think this is to do with the fact that you'll be able to jump from your like pc to play it i don't entirely know but yeah i don't have a problem with that if it makes the game more reachable more accessible to people then i am absolutely uh stoked for that but yeah let me, <laughs> let me know in the comment section down below what this actually means by cloud gaming i would assume it is where like you can jump on and play your account from multiple different uh kind of uh consoles or whatever uh, like you can do in the Microsoft Store on PC, effectively, uh, and you can download the What Console application. Um, next on track, coming September thirteenth, uh, our new gun sounds a possibility. Sure, if you have any ideas, hit us up with suggestions. Um, I mean, I think the gun sounds are pretty decent at the moment, but. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what kind of extras they can do. Any plans for field modifications? Not currently. We're working through current issues um, and looking at new features and picking which to work on. No news, but it's in our minds. Um, is there any update on the quick platoon option? So this is basically what Wargaming said about having the platoons where you can jump up in a platoon with a random person. You can just sign up into a battle and you'll be assigned with some platoon players. I think this is a really good idea. Um, it allows people to engage with each other in the community. If I want to jump into a platoon with some random people and play with them or help them out or just meet people who play World of Tanks and this is a brilliant idea that's actually in the game. I know that some consoles you can use like the uh, kind of community tab in the game on xbox or not in the game but actually like on xbox itself to kind of find a looking for group but yeah, it's just not the same it'd be so much nicer to actually see people uh, platoon with random players and we just sent a poll to our super, super testers for feedback on this and worked out how to approach it so this will be interesting uh, to see what they have to say we can't see the tank skins in game. Any news on that? Our UI team are working on ways to show the skins to you in game. So stay tuned for more news in the future. What date is Corellia coming back? I can't give a date, but I will say it's coming soon. So potentially I would say what Wargaming's typical coming soon means is like the next season. Um, usually or in like a month and a half to two months time so yeah that's basically what we'll have will there be any new world war ii lines this year it's possible but i know we are looking at a new world war ii line coming early next year so i would assume it's not the double barrel tanks i don't think actually um which is unfortunate i think it's actually something else but we'll wait and see Obviously, we'll get more information. There's no point in theory crafting at this point. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below which one you would like to see next because the double barrels are one that I would kind of be interested in. Um, any news on ribbons returning to Cold War medals? We are still having discussions and meeting about these, but I can't give any dates. Uh, so it'd be interesting to actually get the ribbons back. These were kind of iconic from uh, World of Tanks console. So it'd be cool to have them back Um or at least for for like a toggle on uh, feature, like if you want them, then you can have them. If you don't, then you don't have to have them uh, like they had previously in the game. So I would highly recommend doing it as a toggle feature where you can have them or not. Um, any plans to bring artillery to Cold War? No plans to bring artillery to Cold War. I don't know why people keep asking this question. It's like the whole point in Cold War was that they aren't going to bring in artillery. Um but later down the line, we could have talks about some sort of alternative. I just don't think why would you ever want to release them in there? But there we go. Hopefully that covers everything that you need to know for next week and the kind of upcoming updates that will be coming to World of Tanks, of course, including the Labor Day weekend this weekend. And if you are celebrating Labor Day, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And if you're not, I hope you have an equally fantastic weekend. Don't forget to check out some of the videos that we've mentioned in this, including that Mercenary Tanks Guide, which showcases all of the Mercenary Tanks uh, above Tier 5 um, that are actually decent and basically showcasing each... Um, each tank individually what's good what's bad um yeah hopefully you guys check that out that'll be on the left hand side of the screen and if you're interested in gameplay and tank reviews that will be on the right hand side thank you very much for watching and i'll see you there goodbye